What's going on everybody, Tribbles in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ridge. Today, we are going to be drinking a lot of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. We did something like this very similar on my live stream where we took sea batches from 2020 to 2023, got slammered, and graded them best to worst. Today, we're going to be doing that same thing except for the 2023 releases. So yeah, we got A123, 125.6. We got B523, dropped the 12 year age statement for the first time ever, 124.2 proof. And then they came back with the C batch this year, 133.0, 13 years, seven months. So let's get right on into this. Let's move these guys out of the way so you can just look at me. We have these lovely glasses poured in front of us and we are going to smell them, taste them, and then I am going to put them in order that I think is the best to the worst. So let's get right into it. We have a lot to drink. Elijah Craig barrel proof down the hatch. Nice. Starting off strong. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Now, it could be that I have not properly warmed up the palate, but it's coming off ethanol -y. A lot more proof. Little proofier than ones than we've had recently. Past couple of years have been a little bit lower proof, a little bit more subdued. This one's more lively. There's a very strong peanut characteristic coming out of that too. I'll say it's pretty, pretty easy on the palate. I, I don't let me say the word smooth, but it is just kind of glides smoothly <laughs> over the palate. Kind of just, it's not aggressive. Okay, it, it really just hit me for my first sip of bourbon. Not gonna lie, today wasn't that aggressive to me. It was just kind of, yeah, hey, I'm here. Thanks for drinking me. I'm pretty good. Not as much as the peanut. Peanut, really strong on the nose. The palate, there is more, there's some nuttiness there, but it's more of this just sweet vanilla, little bit of nuttiness, little bit of oakiness. There's really not too much in any direction. It's just kind of put together, cohesive. Um, but I will say there's nothing necessarily jumping out of this is saying, wow, that's special. That's real. It's just a good, pour. That's, that's all there is to that. So the real meat and potatoes of this is to go on to the other ones and then that's when it really shines how different they are. Now let's go on glass B. Hmm. Very, a lot more fruitiness. Like the first sniff between those two, I, I almost didn't even call, I didn't think that was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof just because I was so focused on A. It smells like it's going to be thicker, creamier. It just smells denser. You know what I'm saying? I guess I guess maybe the ethanol on A kind of just made it seem lighter. I don't know. Let's taste it. I will say, for as dense smelling, can you even smell density? I don't think you can, but I think you can smell something and can tell it is about to be heavy. It glossed over the tongue like glass A did, but maybe more so, as if there was less going on with it. It's very, very interesting. The the polar opposite of the nose, and then I smelled it. I was like, whoa, 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 what? What just happened? There's a nice spiciness on the tongue, like very peppery thing going on with my tongue. But then it's like. What else am I getting out of it? It, it? it seems like there's less going on, even though my tongue is lighting up as if there should be more flavors that aren't. I don't know, man. A just drinks so soft. Like, I feel like I could go outside and sit outside with A and, like, not feel hurt by barrel proof. And then... I don't know, B kind of makes me think that too. Man, I will say, I keep going back to B and I really like the nose. And then it's like, I so, it, it lets me down a little bit. I smell it and I'm like, oh yeah, that's gonna be good. And then it just, hmm. Let's move on to C. I, I'm kind of struggling. I thought I would be able to narrow this down a little bit easier, but there's things that I'm liking and disliking about each of them when we side by side them, so. 
Let's go to C. Okay, there is a red fruit note on this. I kind of got fruitiness on that first smell of on glass B. That kind of dissipated. I'm getting that again, um, but a bright red, I think red cherry raspberry note. It's kind of like you you ordered a, a brownie. Okay, think chocolate pie, chocolate brownie, and they bring out like a little whipped cream and a raspberry just sitting on there for no freaking reason other than decoration. That's kind of what I'm getting there. It's just like, it's there, you know? It's just there to be there, you know? <laughs> Did it need to be there? I don't know, but I'm kind of digging it on the palate. This is no contest. This is no contest for first place. First place is C. My glass C, hands down, not even close. I thought it was much closer, especially, man, I just, looking back on this year, I thought, I thought it was closer. I thought B523 was the clear loser, and I thought there was gonna be a clear loser in this, but all I've gotten was a clear winner, and that's glass C. So much, it's so much further above the other two. It is so freaking chocolatey on the palate. Chocolate, peanut butter, a little bit of that red fruit. It is, it's, it tastes that the age, the oak is coming through on it, but still letting the other things party. It's, it's balanced and it's just great. This is, this is Elijah Craig barrel proof. And you know, maybe you don't really notice that until you side by side them and then you start seeing stuff like that. That's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. If it is not this, then you just need to go back to the drawing board, pour that crap into some private selects and, and, and do something else, you know? So that that is such a clear winner to me. It's not even, there's no, there's no point of comparing these other two to it. It just won. Um, now it's between these two, which which one I like better, and they both have pros and cons. I honestly think I think I like the nose of B better because it does it kind of it's dense like glass C was, where it's like man I'm about to get something good, and then it lets you down. And I think maybe that should just make it lose the discrepancy of nose to palate. You know I don't like that. C makes me wish that they all tasted like that, <laughs> you know? It's like, why can't you just make them all like that? So A is second, and, and I put, I'm putting B last, mainly because the nose is really good, and then you taste it, and it's almost even more one-dimensional comparatively to A. And I look at what I said about A, so it's kind of bitter, a lot of oakiness in there, um, lighter on the palate than the nose suggests, and just, you know, I don't know, it's just not there. Doesn't hit the mark. Well, this is actually way easier than I even thought it was gonna be because they are in order. Glass A is A123, B is B523, and C is C923. I just drank them in order. Hey, babe! Did you mix these up? She didn't mix them up. I still thought they were blind, so <laughs> I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, so there we have it. We have them in order. So we just drink them as they came out. You know, man, like, B, with them dropping the age statement, and then, what is it? 11 years, five months is, is B. You know, the only real difference between all of these is this one's got the 12 year old age statement, C's got a 13, seven year old age statement, and this one's got an 11. And it did just, it drinks so much different and maybe that's the younger stuff in it. To its credit, I was highly raving about the A123 this year, but just side by siding them, it didn't seem that much of a standout. It didn't seem that much better than the B, whereas C did. C was so much better. Like, it makes me mad that I didn't just rave about this in my review video 
but maybe this is why we do this, is to side by side them and truly see the differences, truly see what you like, what you don't like, and when you side by side things, you see it better. The C batch this year is leaps and bounds. Like that's clear winner. Probably gonna be top of the one of the top of the year bourbon contenders. If not, it's gonna be in my video for sure. Spoiler, but just good. That is just gosh dang good. These other ones, you know, I think I think the A is a much better example i think they were still coming off here's the thing i feel like they're coming off of last year's batches that kind of follow that we're a little bit softer we're not as bold and brave and freaking delicious as we used to be and they're coming off the heels of it they did something really stupid with putting out this 11 year crap again i'm not an age hater that my test doesn't lie to my palate and you drop the age and all of a sudden you're last place. And then you put out one that's older and it's freaking better. All right, I'm getting buzzed. Let's end the video. Reminder, go to the comment section. If you have tried all of these, let people know how you would rank them and, and elaborate a little bit what you think of each batch. See if you agree with what I said. If you think I'm an idiot, uh, let me know if you think I'm an idiot anyway. Just let people know that way if people are curious about each batch, they can not only listen to me, because I am just a dude, but they can go to the comment section and have a lot of like-minded people, I don't know, maybe elaborate in a different way, add some different notes, and help them uh, make an informed decision. Uh, if you want the simplest decision ever is to just get the C923 because it is the best of the year. Okay, if you're someone who gets them all, you're gonna get them all, it doesn't matter, uh, and you're gonna formulate your own opinion anyway. So, there we have it. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like on it and subscribe if you're not. Be sure, go check out the Bourbon Ridge Patreon page. We have exclusive chats over there. We have a little chat page now. You get to talk to me. So cool. But we have exclusive barrel picks. We have another two bourbons dropping very soon, like in the next couple of weeks. Plus, we got several bottles lined up after that. So, if you want exclusive barrel picks that are shipped to you legally, check out the Bourbon Ranch Patreon and get access to all of that stuff. Plus, I have the best merch in the game. I'll say it. And until next time, I'm Trev Wilson. I will see you guys in the next video. Ooh, I'm feeling dizzy. Not really. Yeah, that one's... <laughs> Man, the bee batch. Freaking sug it. What the heck? Sea batch. All day long. <laughs>